सो वेलकम टू दिस यूट्यूब चैनल वेर विल बी डिस्कसिंग रिगार्डिंग द टिप्स फॉर सॉल्विंग द एम सी क्यूज फॉर मेडिकल एक्सपेरेंस एस्पेशली ड्यूरिंग देयर एग्जाम सो विच वन टू चूज एमोंग द वेरियस ऑप्शन गो बाई द बेसिक्स फर्स्ट पैटर्न ऑफ द एग्जाम सो ऑलवेज सी वेदर यू हैव अ फाइव फोर चॉइस एम सी क्यू और अ फाइव चॉइस एम सी क्यू एंड मार्किंग स्कीम वेदर यू हैव गॉट अ नेगेटिव मार्किंग फॉर द एम सी क्यू एंड इफ यू हैव गॉट अ नेगेटिव मार्किंग इफ इट्स अ वन बाई थर्ड नेगेटिव और अ वन बाई फोर्थ नेगेटिव और अ वन बाई फिफ्थ नेगेटिव एंड इफ नॉट यू डोंट हैव अ नेगेटिव मार्किंग गिव अ फुल अटैम्प फॉर दैट एग्जाम and duration of exam is very important in case of each and every exam if it's a 90 minutes exam or or whether it's a 180 minutes exam in case of aims super specialty exam especially in dm neurology it's 80 questions in 90 minutes so we can make out from that that uh, each question has we can at, get more than 1 uh, minute in this exam and timing of the exam is very important because some exams are conducted mostly in the afternoon and some are mostly in the uh mornings so it's very important the reason for the reason that you can train your brain prior to this exams uh, so that uh, these times are slot uh, given slots especially for exercise for your brain to do mock exams during that particular period of time which i have uh, shown separately in a different videos do the mocks prior before the exam at least 21 days prior to these exams Uh, because uh, before that you will be studying and rest of the 21 days you will be spending ex uh, especially for solving the mocks solve at least 2 to 3 mocks exams in the last week prior to the exam that is entirely new ones uh, which will be done by various uh, uh, groups or uh, teaching pro programs or the coaching channels or if at all you are not joining any coaching channels just uh, try to solve the mcqs from the books remember these uh mock exams don't have in the or the marks from or ranks from these mock exams then doesn't have any resemblance to your actual marks they are just mean so of an exercise for your brain but a real time one so do them properly and uh, make these mock exam a better way to manage your time uh, especially it will be helpful while doing your actual exam and now on the day of exam what you have to do read the instruction thoroughly once again you may think that you must have read the uh, proper instructions during uh, the uh, prospectus of the exam but read it again during the exam and uh, people may say that you shouldn't follow this sequence but de definitely follow the sequence while attempting the questions but you needn't complete the qu questions in the order for example in the case of aims dm neurology it is 1 to 80 so in the first attempt Uh, while trying to write the exam uh, or give the answer to the options try from 1 start till 8 and end till 80 divide the exam into four stages this the stage i have given uh, into uh, four that is stage 1 extremely thorough answers that is mainly one liners full clear concepts you have fully thorough with repeats etc you give in a one go that is 80 questions in 30 minutes and stage 2 is easy ones which we need time to solve example like uh, scenario question a uh, simple biostatistics uh, the ones you could zero into two options etc you can give the next stage and stage 3 would be tough ones you where you need to spend some time by using some tick tricks and hacks which i'll come in the future slides and stage 4 is a must in every exam that is a revision time which you have to find time for so time management is actually stage 1 for the one liners and the already you know that that the, the mainly the repeats and all you need to give only 30 minutes have a cut off for that and stage 2 again 30 minutes stage 3 is that is the tough ones where you need to use your brain to eliminate and use your uh, tips and tricks uh, you spent 20 minutes and revision time is a must that is 10 minutes that is the time when you have uh, shortlisted your options and uh, you may not have put the options in the uh, computer so this is time when you should plan to put the option so going from stage 1 to stage 2 is that once in the stage 1 you must have thorough, completely read the question so the question would be in your online memory right now so coming again back to the question helps to properly analyze the question again and this 
increases chances of solving the difficult question once more and one more advantage of this is that by the time uh, you have seen the questions all together in one go and some questions uh, by the time you finish from 1 to 80 by the time you reach the 80 these all questions would get processed within your brain and you may get answer to the question number one or number five by the time you get the get to question number 80 and some questions would be interrelated so by the time you reach the question number 80 you may get answers to many questions in between so that is the advantage of going in uh, from in, in that is using the stage one that is going in one go so tricks would be to eliminate the least known answer or least suitable answer and be careful about the accept question so i have seen many uh, uh, aspirants telling that i you i didn't see the accept question or i didn't see the not and uh, not in the uh, long answer uh, long question be careful about the bait mcq option in the long question there will be a uh, probable answer as a option for the lengthy question so suddenly we see a long uh, lengthy question and the answer which the examiner wanted would be in the uh, wrong answer the examiner wanted would be in the option a so we had to suddenly go and jump and answer so always look for that and options which are similar or opposite of each other could be answered that is uh, one among this could be the answer so we can shortlist between these two and use the envisioning technique so if you could uh, in stage three and four you couldn't find the answer you think of the time the place or position where you could you were reading that kind of topic or that kind of question and try to get the photographic memory or the uh, you envision yourself where, where you were studying that kind of portion uh, in your study room etc and try to get answer that photographic memory you could get the which page which part of the book which line uh, whether it was Harrison Bradley Bailey etc etc you could get from that and you could be you would be able to you will be surprised to know that you you will be able to answer the question in such a way so how many attempts should i make so in case of an, an exams where there is negative marking it is not at all advisable to give a full attempt but if there is no negative marking example in case of super specialty as in sri chitra if there is no attempt no negative marking you can go for a full attempt but otherwise it's not wiser to go for a full attempt and never go for a wild guess and you know that in institute exams there will be five to ten questions which are not uh, just very tough and it's the given to decide the top they are untouchable kind of questions so it's wiser better to leave but uh, in uh, exam actually in case of uh, you should see the previous uh, topper marks so in case of nimhans if you see the topper marks could be ranging from uh, 65 to 75 last time it was 80 or 81 in aims it was 66 to uh, 75 but it was including the practical mark so the maximum attempts could should range between uh, 65 to 70 that kind of range should be there so uh, you have to make a, a thorough decision and make a pre-planned attempt and it should also depend on the toughness of the question so while writing the question only you will be able to know how much you sh you could attempt based on the toughness of the question so uh, roughly it would be about 70 to 75 maximum and it could reduce based on the toughness of the question anyway it will won't be a full attempt uh, a full attempt won't be advisable in the uh, aims exam and uh, as you know a person fully thoroughly prepared spending uh, entire uh, one year for preparation would be definitely anxious and uh, in a panic mode but those who are not at all prepared or less prepared would be the cool ones so ha ha some hacks for the cool ones or the ones who are just finished the md and not at all prepared appearing for the exams is that uh, all of the one or none of the above are would be could be the most likely answers and the longest of the statements could be uh, in case of a true statement like of scenario could be the or likely is likely to be the true statement and if you have eliminated based on your md uh, theory knowledge or uh, your uh, acumen and you would have reached b and c as the option and b then b is likely to be the correct option so this could be also used by the 
uh, this hacks could also be used by the others uh, who have prepared well also not only for the cool ones so i think these tips and tricks uh, definitely and these advices could be used these are my uh, these are advices uh, which could be used and customized by all of you uh, while writing your exam uh, during uh, and all the best for all of you who are writing all the competitive exams especially in the medical field thank you